this a good bucket? Yeah, this is good. Look at that. Hmm. How big is this batch going to be? This is a cream batch. This is going to be 10 and 20. So about 30 pounds? 30 pound batch of cream it's going to be at the end of the day. And just because we can't keep this cream in stock? Yeah, we're running out of creams. <laughs> especially the very cherry? Yes, especially. So we're making it tomorrow. So this will be made today so we can use it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You gotta plan ahead. Mm -hmm. So you can keep going. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of corn syrup. Yep. Yeah, 10 pounds. A little more. Get your daily dose of corn in, huh? <laughs> 9 out of 10 doctors recommend our corn syrup. Alright, that's all you need for sugar, right? You're not getting more sugar, are you? Yeah. What? That's not healthy. It's not enough yet. It didn't go up. Oh, man. I thought we were making healthy candy. Yeah. Is there such a thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's healthy if you don't eat too much. <laughs> Just eat a little is okay. Yeah. Just don't eat the whole box. You need with real sugar and real or, corn syrup. Or real, you know, or the whole bag. <laughs> Just eat some. There. You just gotta wait for the next batch to be done before you can bring it over there? Yeah, once once this one's done, after this one here, and then we'll pour it into the cream beater. Uh -huh. Good work, Dad. Voila. We're all counting on you. Keep up the good work. Okay. Oh. Doing all the heavy lifting over here, huh? Yeah, trains are heavy too. <laughs> Is um, this like one of the heavier batches? Yeah, no, I think it's the heaviest. Yeah. I mean, normally it would be a 36 pound batch, but because we're like mixing stuff into this, we do a little bit smaller, but it's still a 30 pound batch. Like Mixing stuff into this as far as, you mean like the maraschino cherries? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, it's just super hard to stir it when you have it like completely filled to the brim mm. with sugar and then <laughs> trying to mix it like this, it just don't work. <laughs> Two quarts of water. So that's a two quart pan, but you guys do a little bit less just so you don't spill it. Yeah. And then do a little more. Right, you guys have thought of everything, huh? Yup. <laughs> Probably just from about. trial and error. <laughs> just about everything. Trial and spilling. And then I just got done making blue raspberry, so I'm gonna rinse this off, but that's come from nothing. That's really cool though, it's just like sticking up the sugar. That's like that's what it. uh they do that with like so you can make like a bird's nest out of sugar and stuff. Oh really? Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Kind of just like like weave it around something and then have it high like dry. Huh. Have you seen it? Have you seen it like TikTok or something? Yeah, yeah, it makes like a bird's nest. Interesting. Very fun. I mean, that's something you can sell in your Etsy. Just hey, I'm taking home some sugar for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I should probably soak, but so from the last batch that they have on the table right now. Yup. That Brian's working on. What's up? Big bad Brian. Hey guys. Hi. And basically just this, you want to kind of get all the sugar wet. Mm. This is very, very sketchy the first few like, times. <laughs> because if you go over, it's like, it's such a weird mix of water and like dry sugar. Oh, like so like solid and dry? Yeah. Before you like, get it mixed up. It goes flying all over the place. <laughs> you you get, get some like, on the walls? Sugar, yeah. And let's say it'll get on like the kettle and then you gotta like try and clean like the candy stove because you don't want it to burn on there and everything. Well, it's a good thing we got white walls instead of like black walls. Oh. So you'll be able to see everything. Yeah. <laughs> if the walls could speak. <laughs> Lots of candy, they would say. Too much sugar. Well, this is healthy candy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Healthy sugar. I forgot we were doing that batch. <laughs> this is the healthy sugar. And the thermometer in. 
creams get up to 240, but we get to 238.7. So that's the temperature that works for us. <laughs> and once that's done, we're gonna move it over into the cream beater. All right. But gotta get this going. Yeah. You guys gotta get the, the next batch of blue raspberry going. Yeah. This is the last one of the day? Last one of the day. That's why we're getting this going. For tomorrow. Get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Ooh, that was a close one, huh? Always super close. I Man. like to play on the age. If we got to 238.8, I don't think anything would have happened. And we can't have that. No ruin the whole bat. I need drama. <laughs> I need some type of drama. Why is it so heavy? Oh. Yo, yo, 30 pound bat. Big time. So, so, so nice and slow. How many times have you poured into a cream beer before, Brian? This is like my third time. Oh, okay. So you're basically an expert now? Basically. <laughs> it looks just like water. It's, yeah, it's not though. <laughs> <laughs> it does have like a, it literally does just look like water. It looks like thick water because yeah. like, when you look like at it, I guess like where it's pouring and it doesn't look like anything different but then you see like how it's filling in and that's not water oh yeah it's like much thicker <laughs> yeah very very sweet but very very hot water <laughs> oh very hot water <laughs> you ever try thick water thick no water? i haven't i've heard, I've heard of, it, of it though it's heard not it's good weird. <laughs> <laughs> i heard it's like really weird like it's the like texture snot. the texture oh. kind of like takes away from it yeah it fills in very slowly we have to go very slowly. Just 36 or 30? 30. 30. A 30 pound batch with a 22 pound kettle. <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you guys don't need to go work out, huh? <laughs> this is it. But those video games aren't going to play themselves. True. That's the real one. <laughs> we got to go home and save all the, the video game heroes. <laughs> Do you have any tips and tricks for people scraping out their kettles at home quickly? Uh, use like an angle. Get a good scrape. Don't be afraid to put a little elbow grease into it. Don't touch the kettle. Try not to touch the kettle, <laughs> yeah. Try not have to touch the, that on accident? the sugar yeah. in the kettle. <laughs> I did it twice today so <laughs> far. <laughs> you learn slowly? Uh-huh. <laughs> Brian just likes to be hurt. He's like, yeah, it's fun. It's not that hard. Why, thank you. 20 mm. minutes for it to cool down. And then we mix it in and it taste, keeps it from getting moldy. And then, fun white. Hey guys. Hey Hello. Guys. <laughs> what are you making? Almond clusters. Oh boy. Chocolate almond clusters? Chocolate. Wow. Can I see what else you're doing? There's just more clusters. <laughs> just clusters. Yeah. You doing nut cups today too? I did them already. Yeah. So on days we're doing hard candy and brittle, the rubber room turns also into just the nut cup room and the cluster room. Yeah, we're just making what we need. Cause you guys can't do it out there because it'll ruin the temper? Uh, uh, that a little bit maybe, but mostly we don't want to pick up any flavorings mm. in the air to uh, have in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, have to be a separate room. All right. Well, I'll leave you. I'll leave you to your work. Okay. At your desk. Thanks. <laughs> Doing my homework. Yeah. Well, Cooper and Brian said that they would tell me when this was done, but basically all they did was they, turned, they plugged it in and then they spun it around and then it basically whipped some air into it and it makes it into a much more solid cream. So it basically goes from solid sugar and corn syrup to liquid back over here in a liquid form and then it turns solid. Then we're going to melt it back down into liquid before we put it into these starch molds over here where they will again become solid. The next day. It sat overnight, so we'll see how it Ugh. is. It's a little hard. Yeah, it but looks I like it's. You gotta use the one with no bend to it. That's gonna be fun. Steve, it looks like this guy's gonna start working out, huh? Well, that's a tough batch. No, yeah, it looks like it's really. But that's always like the best 
the creams come out the best when it's like Because last this. night I stopped it and it just stopped like that and I thought, okay, it's good. I'll be here for an hour. See you guys in three hours. Oh my god. Goodness. Poor Cooper. I know what it is. Yeah, next time put in just a little bit more water on the bottom. Yeah. That's that's. So what does that do? It just loosens up more. Yeah, it loosens it up more. It probably so. gives it a little bit of kind of like a, a coat on the bottom that makes it a little bit easier to grab from then. Because when you're doing it, when it's going around, it's hard to tell if it's going to be hard or soft. Oh yeah. How long it takes, and if, if you could tell it's going to be hard, you could add just a little uh, an ounce of water maybe. But hmm. you don't. It's hard to. And it's not even like you can tell by temperature either because no, it's, yeah, it's it's, it's dev- yeah it's not a temperature thing. If it's it go if it's done real quick, then it possibly could be hard. Gotcha. But if it's, it takes a long time to to hmm. go, then it'll be soft. Hmm. I'll break these <clears throat> things. Poor Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Happy Wednesday. Happy December. Alright, maybe I'll oh. give, maybe I'll give you some time alone here. Uh, yeah, you might as well. <laughs> so you can really get your uh see me in an hour extracurricular words out <laughs> if you need to scream them. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a few. See ya. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. You want to feel what really hard cream feels like? <sighs> oh, oh my god. Things are a little, uh, a little tough today, huh? Boys? Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. It's almost over, Coop. You can do it. Come on, the final scoop. <laughs> it's the final scoop. Not quite. Yeah, I know. It feels like it. Gosh, if it could be. Hey, that's a copyrighted song. Oh, hey, sh- hey, sh- Steve, come on. Don't tell anyone, okay? You're going to be in trouble. They would have no never worry, known if Nobody will sing. know you're singing it because they can't tell. What, is it that good of singing? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, no. It's, uh... <laughs> um, wow, what's that over there? Uh, he's really punchy this one. Oh, he's very punchy. Oh, gosh. It's all fun until that goes like yeah, sh- flinging out of the camera. I really saw that happening, kind of, but did my best to avoid it. Is anyone else having a good morning? I'm having a good morning. I'm having a good morning too. Even though you just got I'm fighting a Goliath over here, a cream Goliath. Yeah. <gasps> Is that it? No. Good job, Coop. Thank you. I had a funny conversation with my girlfriend the other day, and she said she absolutely hates cornstarch. Really? Yes. She's so like, why is that? It's a very, it's a very random thing I to hate. I think it's cause she said it's like the way it crunches. Like she just doesn't like the all tex- the sound, like the texture. Yeah, like putting her hands in it. She's like that sounds like when I think about it too much. She's like it actually gives me like goosebumps and not in a good way. I'm like, Dad, you would hate my job then. <laughs> I was like, gonna say. the amount of how many days I just like playing cornstarch. It would be very hard for you. I didn't really realize that, so I guess maybe there's other people out there that feel the way too. I, I genuinely kind of think it's fun to play around with. Yeah. It's got a cool texture. It's older. It's like rulers getting old. It's starting to leave a lot of those little kind of stripes that go down it, but yeah. they don't affect the mold. Yeah, I guess people could see it as like, it kind of has like a chalky... Yeah, it's, it's like nail on a chalkboard yeah, kind of, I think, is what she said too. And that's interesting. I never really thought about it that much. I just kind of figured it's just part of the job. No, yeah. People could hate this, I guess. Sorry. It's the crunch. Well, then she's really going to not want to watch this video. No, I think she's... she said she said the videos are good, but if she thinks about it too much, it starts to like... Get at her. All right, don't think about it too much. Don't think it too much. I know you're watching. Don't think <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. All right. 
And that now, would five. covered in cornstarch. <laughs> I'm ready. Home. I'm coming home to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a mess. Oh. I know we were talking about Cody Co. Yeah. Uh, Merch the other day. I just saw he has a new line of stuff that came out. He so. does. I don't know what it is about him, but he does like just like candy stuff. Like it's, it's like, so clean like, though. Sugar and yeah. like ice cream shops and stuff. Yeah. No, I'm a huge fan That's of like. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. This is a. Uh, this is cream drops. Oh, so you're just. So those aren't helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're all over the place today. I'm just doing what we can. Yeah, Christmas season is just kind of like hold on to the reins and just <laughs> just do what you can when you can. Try and keep up. We're all white today because I knew I was doing the creams. I don't want to look like a cornstarch monster. You can kind of hide it when you wear white. <laughs> but speaking of merch, we're going to have your sweatshirts in the shop soon, right? Heck yeah. That's what so Craig sure. said. So. Yeah, I can't remember the exact date, but they did say soon. So, that'll be fun. I'm copping the first one. Well, actually, I think you should cop the first one. And then... I'm modeling it for your yeah. body, so... I was going to say, we'll have to take photos of us all, like, wearing the the, the sweatshirts. Heck yeah. That'd be cute. Super cute. I'm so glad that came through and, like, happened. It was a, it was a fun time. Yeah, man. I'm excited Well, to you actually. make good stuff. I mean, oh, I like I your art. that. Put a lot of effort into it. People don't understand that. It's like many hours yeah. go into that passion of mine, but it's fun. I bet a bunch of people are like, I wish I was just naturally gifted at drawing. It's like, well, you probably learned a lot along the way. Yeah, I've been drawing for like 15 years at this point, so yeah. I guess if I really wasn't that good, it would be tough. Nice and smooth now. Not the way it was running really. Now, Mr. Crab. Oh, I feel it now. All right, so I did six different things of cherries, and so I'm gonna try my best to get half of this and some of the cherry juice because it's yummy. Yeah, like a little cherry juice. It really adds to these, especially with like after they sit for like a couple of days, that like cherry juice really kind of mixes in with everything else. Because it's very cherry. So we gotta go all up. Gotta make sure it's extra very, very, very cherry. I already spilled trying to get this mixed in so I'll be out staring now that there's cherry in the front of me. No more spilling, dude. No more spilling. And I like how the coloring just comes from the cherry juice. Get all those flecks. That's beautiful. Looks like strawberry milk. I know, right? Cherry milk. They don't make that. They should. Cherry milk. Cherry milk. Cool. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't either, honestly. <laughs> it just seems like this would be the closest comparison. I'm not using these gloves, I'll be right there. Do you feel like this is just Groundhog Day all over again? You just keep reliving the very cherry creams? Pretty much. I'm getting better at it though, which is like good because I guess practice is actually helping. Who would have thought? Cause it's hard to get the creams to like actually all have nice cherries in them. Cause realistically they kind of clump up a little bit in here. Yeah, a little. But a little stirring and stuff in between definitely makes for a 
a little bit of a better it's running a little slow right now but looks we'll good to me going. man we'll get going kicking in the hyperdrive oh yeah got 3,000 of these to do today 3,000? Yeah, because it's two full batches. Oh my gosh. That's about what it makes. It's a lot of this motion. But that's what the people want. So we give the people what they want. That's what they want. That's what they're going to get. They look great. And see, like right here, I'm going to bring you over. Like on top. All the cherries kind of sit. So you have to stir like halfway so like through. In between, kind of like all of it, kind of mix it in, and then they kind of disappear a little bit and they make their way back down. It's hypnotic, man. And then you don't have to get weird one cream with all the cherries in it because it's at the top of it. It's kind of like the lottery cream. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, I got all the. The first like Cheerio. couple of times we did this before we figured out that you really need to kind of mix them as you go, there was definitely some lottery creams in there with just like probably a whole like three cherries worth of stuff. Oh, that was very cool. Yeah, that one lucky customer was like, whoa, <laughs> at the jackpot here. We can't all be winners, but it's fun occasionally. I mean, it tastes like they're all winners. They're pretty good. They are all winners. Yeah, I mean, look, you can really see the flex. They come across nice. Yep. Scrape it out. Every last drop counts. Oh, yeah. And repeat. Rinse and repeat? Mm -hmm. oh. There's the next bag. That's crazy. It's easier to get out. <laughs> See, even here, you gotta mix it all in again. I don't even, I don't even really get it. It's like, it must be something with how like they're buoyant. Yeah, they float. They float in the cream. What do you think, Steve? It's great. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Tastes better too. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out this spoon's really hot right now. It's warm, is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Sitting at 200 degree cream, 150 degree cream. It heats it up a little bit. Just a, just a smidge more. Just slightly. Very aggressive. Phew. Said I ain't got time for this right now, man. I got 3,000 of these puppies to make. Yeah, this is open nicer now. You think it's just because it was heating up more? Yeah, it just needed to figure itself out. <laughs> now we're going to get through them. Oh, yeah, look at they sit right on top here. Nice part about these creams is we don't top them with anything, so like to run them through the enrobers makes it pretty easy. I'm gonna say they're just pretty simple to do. They're once simple, they're... elegant, sophisticated, mm. delicious little cherry treat. All the fun adjectives. Oh. Cherry bit right there. Some resistance. <laughs> the cherry bits get stuck. It's funny. We got used to the camera just being right next to the funnel the whole time. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, you know. it's a fun little challenge. <laughs> it's boring in here when I'm just doing it by myself without a camera in my face. Need the added stress. Yeah. The pressure. Makes donuts and creams. Wow. Silence. 
so much focus. It must be nice to just have days in here when you're kind of just jamming by yourself, like. Yeah. I definitely, I think I probably get more done just because, like, it's fun and, like, you zone out a little bit more and don't have to wait for camera crews and stuff to make sure that they get each part of the process. But it's good. Uh, it's like I never left. The starch room. The starch room. Warm, oh. quiet, <laughs> and lots of starch. Uh. <laughs> A perfect place to s set up our new A cherry creams. A perfect place to see creams in the wild. Yes, <laughs> in their natural habitat. <laughs> Shake them around. Now I miss my Oh, it's one. just so good. It's yeah. it's for all ages. Anybody yeah, it started study. getting a little crazy there at the end, like the last like yeah. few years. I feel like the stuff that I watched like growing up was just pure gold. It was. I mean, the first few seasons of SpongeBob are the best episodes, yeah. and I don't care what anyone says. I'll fight you. They're freaking hysterical. Tails It's really mean of you. Yep. What if they want tails? That's too dang bad. <laughs> That's too dang bad. <laughs> That's exactly what just went through my head. From holes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but Grandpa, I'm tired of digging these holes. That's too, too dang bad. bad. <laughs> extra nice to these creams because they're super soft the cherry yeah. juice makes oh, them hold on. don't you pour without me there you go with these two I honestly go in after and I flip them because if you don't do that they're very soft and they like to just take the shape of whatever orientation they're laying in so like gravity takes on Oh yeah, it's big machine. time. And it happens like fast, like you'll look away and if you don't kind of do this quickly, they'll they get going quick. This'll be a nice fun day of tedious creams, but it's good. Cause they're yummy. These actually don't feel too soft. I cook them a little bit longer, so kind of- I was gonna say, was this from the hard cream batch? <laughs> this is the hard, yeah. yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Some say that he's still scooping the cream out to this day. That took me like an hour and 15 minutes. It normally Just takes, for the one? Yeah, it normally wow. takes me like 20 minutes to get it out of the cream beater. Hour and 15. Of like labor. I was, I was fighting it. Dude, how could you do that? <laughs> and definitely no one else did that mistake. No, it definitely... It wasn't Steve. No, <gasps> God, no. It, how could it be Steve? Steve's perfect. <laughs> Steve would never do that to me. He was really hard on himself the other day. I know. I he was did. like, oh my gosh, I should have taken he it out. Like, man, I should have added water and stuff. Like, yeah, I did. He felt bad. I was just, just yeah. laughing it off. It, it really isn't that bad. It was like, the fact that we actually did it the night before ended up saving me time during the day. Like, I was actually ahead of schedule. Yeah. Even with the... The hour and 15 minutes. Workout? Little workout I had to do. But I still managed to get in like the rubber roll at the end of the day too. Get some stuff off the curry. That was the thing. Bang around. I always forget this stuff like subconsciously and then I remember. Oh, just yeah, sweet box. Because if you don't, you just put them right back in. Good for your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Tastier than the, the sugar. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just dusty taste. Oh, that 
That's a lot of creams. There's a lot of sugar in it's there. It's an army. An army of uh, very cherry creams. Yes. They're going to war. Alrighty. Oh. oh! That's a new lens. Fatality! Taking them out. Yeah, I feel like we always show footage of uh, the creams on the milk chocolate in Rober, but we haven't been back to the dark chocolate one in a while. Mm. This one you can get nice up close and personal with the chocolate. Yeah, it's all like, all exposed and whatnot. I know, look at the wheel. Oh. It's like glass. It is. Shiny tempered chocolate, so pretty. The dark chocolate too has like such a shine to it. I know. See you later. <laughs> See you later, stinky. <laughs> Have you seen that vine? <laughs> or vine? See, I'm stuck on vine. I was talking about <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. I, th I think so. He has like a fish or something. Yeah. He catches and he says, See you later, stinky. <laughs> or alligator. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just throws it back in the water. That's so nice. So these ones are already cooled down and tempered. Look at that. Yeah, that was from the last little bit that I brought yeah. in. I didn't feel like cutting it and making a whole change yet. Trying, we're doing a lot of these, so I'm trying to conserve the paper. Yeah, you said you have like 14 trays? Uh, 14 and a half trays, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's two trays right there. Did you say Put it into perspective. two trays, four bracelets? Do you, do you know the yeah, line? Yeah, yeah. Two chains? Two chains. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out how to kind of run this continuously, which actually helps with like production a lot. I don't, I moved the wheel speed down or the belt speed so that I don't have to be like running back and forth. Yeah. But the fact that you can uh, just pop back and forth, kind of fix things. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, because that helps with speed too, just like. People think that just by slowing it down, you're losing speed, but if you're not doing it efficiently, then... The amount of how much time you save by like not stopping, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty crazy. These are so nice though, because I don't have to decorate them. That too, yeah. Because some of them I literally have to go through with a piping bag and on each of them, like the amaretto creams, I pipe like a cursive capital A on each one. Yep. And like the mango ones, you sprinkle colored sugar yep. on Yep. Like sprinkles of some sort. Like we got all those sprinkles from the toppings of what go on to the other creams. But these just run through. They're pretty looking when they're just like coated in chocolate you don't need much i know it's so uniform i mean like they look like glass and yeah these have been by far like the most popular cream i mean i was just telling cooper he's in the middle of taking them out of the cornstarch and there was already a couple People of pounds <laughs> sold i like on the phone in store, they're all like, "Hey, where the? You need to make more. Where are they? We made them like, no, like no time ago. It was like, like a week ago, I think. Literally a week ago. Yeah. We we made like a whole batch of them. So this time we made two full batches of them, and we'll see how long it takes for them to go away. But it will probably be fast, and I'll probably be making more of these. Yeah. How many? Week. If you, I mean. You told me earlier how many creams it basically makes. Yeah, it's about 3,000. It's a lot. <laughs> it doesn't really seem like a lot when you're just like doing it all day, running them through the enrober, but like individually. It adds up, man. Counting all of them, yeah, it's about 3,000. <laughs> That's insane. But. And yeah, I was going to say, so you guys ran through about 1,500 then or 1,600 in a, in in a like week. In like a week, yeah, literally oh like a week. Gosh. They are really good, though. <laughs> they are. So it, it makes sense. sense. It does. You notice right. any uh, caving in of the creams or? These yeah. are doing all right. They're 
you can kind of see it a little bit. They're funny. They're like gripping on the pan down there. They got like oh, carry yeah. grips and stuff. I got to clean Oh, yeah, you do kind of. Literally oh. like respect the drip, carry the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Respect the here. drip of the very cherry creams. Of the very cherry creams, they're really dripping out here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you can say that again, dude. Oh yeah. Look at them over here. It's like I try my best. They're seeping out. Cherry juice dripping everywhere. Look at that. I like that one. Oh, it is dripping out. It's literally, like, yeah. Oh my goodness. The chocolate can't hold it. Oh no! Our chocolate! It's, it's broken! It's dripping! <laughs> it's dripping! <laughs> I just love the waterfall, man. It's a nice thing, ain't it? It's mm -hmm. beautiful. These are good right now. They're not moving too much on me. That way they look pretty when they're done so I don't have to touch them. Nice and shiny. Mm-mm. Two, four. Six, Gotta do math. Eight, eight. Yeah. Trying to keep it consistent so I don't go over and then, oops. Everything fits on the trees. So, uh, how many of these do you think you got left now? <laughs> uh, all right, a uh, little bit of a late start on it. I have done, so this is, that's tray three and four out of 10. Okay. And we just, like you said before, we just can't keep these in yeah. stock. So I just, I did basically a whole rat, or uh, like from here down of dark of these, and then I'm gonna probably do like a full of these and a half of milk. It's good fun. Lots going. Cooper can't keep up. No, I can't. So much going on. And I got to get the Dark and Rover ready for Brian because they're doing turtles. It's a whole party here. It's Big like stuff. a cherry person. Look at He's missing his head. Oh! Give him a little cherry man. Send him through. <laughs> Send him through. Cover him up. <laughs> Please don't eat me. <laughs> it's like, not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> Not the cream. <laughs> They're so squishy. Can't, like, put any they do look more in. solid though than like uh, they, some of the other ones I've seen. I've been yeah, yeah. playing with temperatures and stuff and yeah. getting it up to like 160 as opposed to like 145, 150, like some creams. Yeah. It's kind of giving it a little bit more structure. Hold to it, yeah. Good. Yeah. Because I think the important part is like just keeping the hold as long as you can for it to be chocolate covered and yeah. then after that it doesn't matter because chocolate really does a good job at like holding it in but i guess honestly with these they're still still seeping out through the chocolate that's kind of so. fun though we're gonna have to probably patch those because they're gonna stick to the the, yeah. the cups that we put them in and that shows good. how juicy they are it's yeah you can see it from the outside how much cherries in here it's good stuff Wish we could move faster on them, but then they don't look as nice. So we take our time, we get through them. Yeah, man. You gotta make sure they're uh, quality. Somewhat uniform. Now imagine if you had only, cause they used to only have the dark chocolate one. No. And they would have to clean it all out for milk. And yeah. then and then not only that, so you had to take time to do that and seed it and do all that. And I've seen how long it takes you. And then you only have about two or three wide. This one is a like double that. So. <laughs> Six wide. And it still takes you all day to make just the cherry creams. <laughs> yep, a hundred percent. I've been I've been at it since eight. <laughs> eight a.m. and yeah. we're at like almost like one thirty. One thirty. Yeah. And I am not even really close to being done. <laughs> so Wait. Terry Terry told me uh, some numbers here. So you're making over three thousand cherry creams, and that's ninety pounds of sugar. Oh, that's 90 pounds of cream. That's insane. 90 pounds. Yeah, because I did four, six, eight. I did two full batches, so yeah, it's there's a lot, a lot of a uh, lot of sweets going on today. It's insane. Cool. 
And don't worry, it's on pace to only be set for about two weeks. Then you'll be back at it again. <laughs> yep. Just they, a little. They can't keep me away for too long. They know I love making these. No doubles, though. Nobody can touch. Honestly, sometimes they, they all want to hold hands, and then sometimes just... They, they just, just need a friend, man. Hands. Yeah. No friendship here. None. It's not allowed. Candy making's not supposed to be fun. No. It's supposed to be... Ruthless. Very stressful with no friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. That's good stuff. Very cherry. Then we can, then we can ship that one out, too. <gasps> Are you, what? what? Are you filming? You can't see me. I'm completely camouflaged. I don't know about that. Who's going to tell her? Um, you can. That's uh, up to you. I don't think I have That's the heart. That's on you, Dylan. I don't have the heart to do it. Don't put that on me. Okay, I'm sorry. All so right. this is for an order? Need, yep, I need a pad. So All right. Better. You started before I was ready. They don't call me, uh... Dylan? For nothing. Yeah. These get red cups. Ooh, fancy. Oh, yes. Because they're cherry. Makes sense. Cherry is red. She had purple cups. That'd be cool. Purple cups. Tie-dye cups. Wouldn't that work better for, like, plum? I don't know. I just like purple. Yeah? I just like the color purple. You're not wearing any purple. You're wearing Isn't blue. Isn't this bluish purple? Oh, it, actually, off camera, yeah, it's more of, a, like, okay. a purple. In the, in the camera, it looks blue. I see. You're right. It is purple. Carrie was saying I was colorblind today. Did I say that? You and Elle were saying I was colorblind. Or was that... I don't think uh, that was me. Ellen Taylor? Yeah, I don't think Colorblind. it was me. Yeah. <laughs> I just get you mixed up with people, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We're all you the, all look alike. We're all the same. You're all sisters, right? Yeah. Yep. We're all related. All of us. All of us. Just the Brady Bunch up in here. Oh, yeah. For sure. Do you find you're getting a lot of orders for fairy cherries? Yeah, when we have them, there's tons. They fly out of here. Yeah, when we have them. Well, right now, I think it's just like emailing back in stock requests since yeah. we don't actually have any on the website, but we're about to. Woo. You're so quick. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, you know. Let me see it. It's all pretty in the box. So these are just the milk chocolate ones, right? So, yes. Yeah. They sure are. Let's see. Uh, okay. Do you have a, fa uh, a favorite flavor of cream? Blue raspberry. Wow. Yep. It's pretty fire. I didn't want to try the maple one, but I missed out on that one a little while back. Oh. Before it was chocolate covered. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's the only way I eat them, too. Yep. Naked. Ah. Where they get their right. nice clothing. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, Kara. You're welcome, Dylan. <gasps> no. Thank you. <gasps> no, you're welcome. Oh. Oh. Okay. I okay. will be. I will be welcome. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Which one? The middle. I put... I put a rabbit under one of the hats. Is it oh, one? maybe. Well, don't hurt the rabbit. Okay, okay it's not this one, thank God. Uh, all right, just, yeah. You can only, you can just cut one more open and then, because I think Elle only wants to try half. Yeah, Ooh, they look great. great. Yeah. They look amazing. Says the person who doesn't like that. I mean, you love them, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, pick your poison. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, Elle. I'm like blocking you, eh? Alright. Alright, hold on. Elle's gotta get her piece, too. No! Steve! You're always so quick to wanna... <laughs> we do a taste test, and like the, the camera's not recording, Steve's like picking it up and ready to eat it, like in two seconds. Alright, everyone. Go ahead. Cheers. <laughs> Steve? Mm, good stuff. Very cherry. Would you say there's a reason why that it's selling out so fast? Yeah. You get nice, like, I honestly just, like, chewed on a little piece of cherry right there, yeah. which is, like, a, a really nice thing for a cream. What do you think of the consistency of this batch compared to, like, the other ones? 
Because I know um, you said that. I think maybe it's a it's a little bit more put together. Like it's it probably won't have as many bags that like just seep all over the place and kind of get ruined. So that's yeah. a good thing. That's looking good up. Thing. <laughs> yeah, they're they're really good. Yum. All right, Coo, quick, get back in there. Get, they're not gonna make themselves. Get back in your room. Jeez. <laughs> Kids these days, yeah. huh, Steve? Send him to his room. That'll straighten him out. <laughs>